to today's Keep on Kids Connect video. My name is Kelly and today we are in the African Savannah. Now a little fun fact about the African Savannah. It is dry and hot year round. It never gets cold and it never snows. Isn't that crazy? I know, it's awesome. Also, another little known fact. All the animals that reside here help each other. Isn't that cool? That's what I thought. Okay. Today we're going to be learning about how the Holy Spirit came, but first I need my book. You guys got it. Awesome. Well done. Okay, so here's the thing. I don't know where my book is. It's in one of these treasure chests, and I think you're able to see it, but I'm not. So, on the count of three, can you tell me which one it's in? Alright, ready? One, two, three. It's in that one. But I thought you guys said it's in the left one. Oh, not my left, your left, that one. Awesome. Thank you so much for helping me get my book. Let's get on with today's story. The Holy Spirit came. On the day of Pentecost, Jesus' disciples were gathered together in Jerusalem. All of a sudden, a sound came from heaven. It was like a strong rushing wind, and it filled the whole house where Jesus' disciples were staying. Then tongues appeared like flames of fire, and they rested on each of the disciples. The disciples were filled with the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in languages they didn't even know. Now, Jews were in Jerusalem who had come from every nation. They heard the disciples' voices in their own languages, and they were amazed. How could the men from Galilee speak so many languages? Peter stood up and said, I'll tell you what's happening. He reminded the people of something the prophet Joel had said long ago. God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. I will show you wonders in the heavens above and signs on the earth below. Then everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. Peter said, you saw the miracles, wonders, and signs God did through Jesus. Even though God planned for Jesus to die, you used lawless people to nail him to a cross and kill him. But death did not keep hold of Jesus. God raised Jesus from the dead. Then Peter said, You have seen the truth. Jesus is alive. He went up to heaven to be with God the Father. Do not doubt this, Peter continued. When you killed Jesus, you killed the Messiah. The Holy Spirit convinced the people that Peter was telling the truth. What must we do to be saved, they asked. Peter told the people to repent, to turn away from their sins, and to turn to God. God will forgive your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Be baptized in the name of Jesus, he said. Everyone who believed Peter's message was baptized. That day, about 3,000 people joined Jesus' followers. They learned what Jesus' disciples taught, and they met with other believers every day. They broke bread and together prayed. God kept his promise to send the Holy Spirit. With the Holy Spirit's help, Jesus' disciples could begin their work of spreading the gospel throughout the whole entire world. God gives the Holy Spirit to anyone and everyone who trusts Jesus as their Lord and Savior. Okay. So before I ask you guys a bunch of questions, we're going to watch a short little recap video. So turn on those listening ears, catch those bubbles, and I'll be back in a jiffy. See ya! Stories of the Bible. God sends the Holy Spirit. These are the apostles. Hello! They followed Jesus during his time on earth. Before Jesus went to heaven, he told them to stay in Jerusalem until God sent the gift he promised. See ya! So after Jesus went to heaven, the apostles stayed in Jerusalem along with the other people who believed in Jesus. One day they were all gathered together when there was a sound from heaven like a mighty windstorm. Whoa! Then what looked like flames appeared and settled on each of them, and everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit gave them the ability to speak in other languages, and so they started speaking. At that time, there were devout Jews from every nation living in Jerusalem. 
When they heard the loud noise, they came running to see what it was. What's going on? When they saw the believers speaking in their own languages, they were shocked and amazed. Hey, yes. They wondered, how can this be? These people are from Galilee, and yet we hear them speaking in our own native languages about the wonderful things God has done. What can this mean? Nah, whatever. But others in the crowd didn't believe that it was really a miracle and thought the believers were just acting oddly. Nah. Then Peter stepped forward and shouted to the crowd, Hey, all you! Listen carefully, all you! He told them that they were not acting strangely, but that this was from God. He reminded them that God said this would happen long ago. Then Peter told them about how Jesus was crucified, but then raised to life again, just as God had said he would be. He told them that Jesus was now in heaven and that God had given the Holy Spirit to them as he had promised. Peter's words changed what the people thought and felt, and they asked, Brothers, what should we do? Peter told them, each of you must repent of your sins and turn to God and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. Then you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. Wow! Peter continued to preach to the crowd for a long time, and those who believed what Peter said were baptized. 3,000 people were baptized and added to the church that day. Then all the believers listened to the apostles' teaching and practiced what they taught. Hey! They met together in fellowship, shared meals, and prayed together. They were amazed as the apostles performed many miraculous signs and wonders. All the believers met together in one place and shared everything they had. Here you go. Take this. Ah, thank you. They helped those in need. Here, this is for you. Thank you. Worshipped together at the temple every day, met in homes for the Lord's Supper, and shared their meals with great joy all while praising God and enjoying each other. And each day, God added to their fellowship those who were being saved. Question one, who was waiting for the Holy Spirit to come? The disciples were. Question two, what happened when the Holy Spirit came? When the Holy Spirit came, a sound like a rushing wind came from heaven. Tongues like flames of fire rested on each person, and they all spoke in different languages. Question three, how did other people react after the Holy Spirit came upon the disciples? They were amazed and wondered how the disciples could speak in their languages. Last question. What happened after Peter's sermon? Three thousand people believed Peter's message and were baptized. Wow, today's Kingdom Kids Connect story was absolutely awesome. If you ever have any questions about what it means to make Jesus Christ your Lord and Savior, or if you've already done that and would like to receive more information on baptism, please do not hesitate to ask your teachers or your parents or even me. All right, I hope you guys have a great day, and I will see you next week. Bye!